This is a demonstration of the um, prototype uh, integration of Twitter uh, and OAuth into the Kinetics Rule Language, KRL. We're on Google. We're going to uh, have an application fire that shows us the last uh, 10 tweets on the uh, person who's running the application's Twitter timeline over here on the right hand side. I'm, at, I'm invoking this from a bookmarklet. Normally it would be invoked from an um, extension or a card. So when I do that, what happens is uh, Twitter is consulted and it turns out that we have not authorized this application yet and so this tells us the application Twitter and OAuth from Phil Windley is requesting that you authorize Twitter to share your Twitter information with it and it gives us a description. All of that information is coming out of the rule sets metadata. We decide that we want this application to work and so we're going to allow it. We go through the typical uh, Twitter OAuth ceremony and tell it we want to allow this. We're redirected back to the exact same page we were on and of course if this were a card it would have just fired the rule set automatically. We'll do that with a uh, click to the bookmarklet and you'll see that indeed we have uh, the last uh, 10 items from my timeline showing up over here on the right. Or from my friend's timeline actually. So let's take a look at how this was done. Over in the application as I mentioned we have all of the usual stuff in the meta uh, section. We also have the Twitter keys. The consumer key and the consumer secret. Of course I've removed that and so when we uh, navigate away from here, it's going to warn us, but that's where you'd put those. Inside the global block, we have collected all of the tweets in the friends timeline as con on the condition that we have authorized this application. If not, we just get an empty list. So that populates this variable with all of the tweets. Now this rule set actually uses what I call the authorize, initialize, and populate pattern. Uh, the authorize uh, is the first rule, and remember rules in a rule set are executed in order. The important part of this rule set is this uh, premise and action that says if Twitter has not been authorized, then authorize it. That's what actually put this message, not this one, but the original authorization message up here. And notice also that in the postlude, if this rule fires, then this will be the last rule that's fired in this rule set. And so, indeed, the first time we ran this, we weren't authorized. We got an authorized message, and then the rule set quit. Now, if we have been authorized, of course, this rule won't fire, and so this won't be the last one. We'll go to this rule, which will put up a notify box. That's what paints the notify box that we see right here. But it's empty. It doesn't have anything in it but this empty tweet list. That's where the populate rule comes in populate rule for each of the tweets, um, grabs out the text, puts it inside a div, and then appends that to the tweet list that we created in the initialization rule. So we authorize, initialize, and finally populate the Twitter notify with all of the tweets.